Hello everybody. Welcome back to Disney Sorcerer's Arena. Today we've got some more characters to showcase. One of them is going to be Powerline. Um, he looks pretty cool. We're going to do the uh, outfit or costume for Swimsuit Scrooge McDuck. And then we also have Linguini and Remy. I think I'm skipping over Alice. I'm going to come back to Alice. For some reason I thought it'd be... <laughs> That it fit for Linguini and Remy and Powerline to be showcased together. I don't really know why I thought that, but let's at least level him up here. I don't really know what any of them do, so I guess we're going to find out. We're going to go into the Heroes campaign. Um, there are definitely background noises you can hear right now, as well as... I'm probably going to get interrupted at some point. There's like 99% chance I will, so just a fair warning there. Let's see... Um, yeah, let's go to this one. We could, we could leave in Snow White, I guess. And then, just need to find the others here. Scrooge is like, or sorry, Powerline is one of my last four stars. And then, there we go. Alright, so here's the full team. Hopefully we're strong enough to at least do this level, but I guess we'll find out. I'll probably also take a second to load. I think I'm going to also record another, um, another showcase right after this one, so I can upload that too. At least that's my plan. So, first up, we got to see what all these guys are doing. I guess we could get Linguini and Remy to go. So they look like their support character. Honest work is just dealing damage and a chance to inflict blind. Guaranteed if Remy is attached. So I don't know, like maybe this is how it works. Natural talent, a battle start, Remy is attached. When Remy is attached to a teammate, they gain 25% recovery. Once per turn, if any teammate falls below 75%, Remy attaches to that teammate. I wonder if he like physically jumps to him or what? Um, reactivates when teammate falls below 50% and 25% on their max health. Um, Remy reattaches to Linguini upon teammate being defeated while Remy is attached to them. So I don't think Le Remy can straight up just be removed completely. But it sounds like if the guy dies that he's with, he just moves on. You can see him like on the under the hat there, so I wonder if he just like sits on their head maybe. Restore 678 health all teammates of Remy's attached this character to the following grant tenacity up. Perform the following on teammates, attach Remy, restore 520. So I am curious to see just like what happens. So let's move him over to... <laughs> okay, so he just stands there. <laughs> well, I, I don't, that's not funny, but it is funny. He literally just stands there. That's awesome. Hopefully... Okay, nothing too bad there. So power line. Let's start with these. Electrifying entrance. So we saw that, he dealt some damage, he also can blind, which did happen to that last monkey, but it's gone now. Uh, biggest rock star on the planet, Powerline gains one's charge when he uses his abilities, plus one charge per magic spent when he uses an ability. He does not gain charge per magic spent when an ability is used regardless of magic charge. When Powerline reaches 10 charge, gain empowered. So it looks like a lot of charge is going to be going on. Deal damage, 10%, bonus damage per charge, inflict shock for one turn. Uh, grants target teammate power surge for one turn. There's a chance to grant power surge. I don't know what power surge is. Um, eye to eye. Grant all teammates excluding self. 5% speed meter per, per charge. 20% chance per charge to grant power surge for one turn. Haste for one turn. Um, is there any way to see unless we use this? What is this? Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I guess we can use this. I'm glad it's not just adjacent teammates, right? And it's everybody. I don't really see power surge on anybody, so I still don't really know what that is. Scrooge has been a while, so just look. That's a basic attack. Deal 645 damage to target opponent. Chain to 1 to 3 at targets. If Gizmo Duck is a teammate, don't have Gizmo Duck. Grant effects of heads or tails to adjacent teammates and this character. Heads grant offense up for 2 turns. Tails grant defense up for 2 turns. He also has tougher than the toughies. On any opponent gaining a helpful effect, 15% chance to perform the following deal uh, damage to 
opponent and purge all helpful effects. Alright, we might as well just do this. That one is to adjacent opponents, it looks like. I don't really need health, so I guess we can hold off on that. He just starts brooming, or mopping. So, I don't know. <clears throat> I, I, um... I really like how they did Linguini and Remy in Disney Heroes Battle Mode. It feels like they actually made him, like, a battle-ready re battle character from a character that virtually doesn't fight whatsoever in the movie. Um, so I think that's a pretty cool idea. I don't really think they've really done that here. <laughs> He's kind of just standing here, completely out of place. I like the idea of the Remy thing for sure, but I wish Linguini himself had a more interesting moveset. Like, it looks like he just kind of mobs, and that's about it. Uh, let's do this just to see it. He cooked something up. Couldn't really see. Uh, we're gonna do it. Well, maybe we'll save that. Um, but we've basically seen all these guys' moves now. Other than, like, their basic attack, I guess. But here it is. Just like a lightning bolt. So that's the... Shocked. Okay, I don't think I've ever seen that before. Maybe it was, uh, unique to Powerline. Then I guess we can move him over. Nobody needs it, but sure. Hey, can I give him to the birds? Is that... I don't think I had that option. Um, I yeah, have power line go again, I guess. It doesn't double shock. So this will probably kill. Oh, well, not quite. But now we can attack. Okay. Yeah, let's just uh, let's just do Scrooge's bait. Wow, that didn't even kill him. Okay. <laughs> um, we're pretty close. Once we do this showcase, we've only got a couple more, and then we'll have showcased all the characters I have. All the characters I'm gonna have. Because the only characters I don't have are Kida and, uh... And... What's this? And Zeus. And I'm not gonna be getting either of them. So... I don't play the game enough, and I'm not strong enough to... Be in a club that has the ability to get those characters, so I'm just not going to. It's pretty crazy that I even got Ursula, to be completely honest with you. Um, so, I don't think I'm ever going to get those characters, unless they give you another way to unlock them at some point, which I think maybe, you know, when the game is kind of done adding characters, if this game is still alive, they might give that up. But that's kind of their main source of revenue, is occasionally giving you the option to just pay for them. I'm not going to do that. I don't care that much, but it would be cool at some point if they maybe even just got added to a shop, you know. So, hopefully that happens at some point. But otherwise, the other thing is that I have way too many costumes to showcase one at a time, so I don't really know how I'm going to end up doing that. Um, and ultimately we might just not end up showcasing every costume in the game, which would be somewhat sad, but I don't. I don't think like any villains have uh, have costumes really, other than obviously like the Sorcerer's Arena one for Hades. So when I do the villain one with uh, who are the next two villains? It's oh, it might just be the um, the Snow White ones. I felt like I maybe had another one because I know that the Huntsman is a villain. But I think I was able to showcase the only other villains that were released somewhat recently. Because I think Cheshire Cat allowed me to showcase him in Maleficent. Unless I never showcased um, Ursula. But I feel like I, I must have, right? That was a while ago. So I'll have to keep track of that. I honestly don't even know who the next two characters are. I know Alice is going to be one of them. But I'm not sure who the other one is. I know I just unlocked Winnie the Pooh, so that one will be at some point. Um, and yeah, I, I, I kind of just picked the Scrooge costume because it was the next one I had unlocked since I did a showcase, so it made sense to me. We're getting close to death, so I might as well just do this. This fight was way too hard for us, apparently. But... 
Um, I guess we could do one more. Maybe we just do another like two fight round instead of a three fight. But I, I think we've pretty much seen the extent of what uh, we're going to be able to see with these characters. Oops, I almost just auto won some of those. We have not gotten interrupted yet, so maybe I should finish this up before I do. <laughs> and I do want to record another one, so I guess we'll see how that goes. But yeah, um, they're always super underleveled. It's a little hard to tell just how great they can be uh, when they're this underleveled as I have them. But just looking at their move sets, um, I think that Linguini and Remy could be a helpful um, support character. Just by the looks of things, I think having the ability to directly choose who you want to be healed, and even Remy just automatically going to someone who's under 75%, I mean, that's pretty helpful. I wonder how that works if multiple characters are going under 75%. I'm not sure, but it sounds like they'll probably get healed pretty good. So... That seems great. Linguini himself just doesn't seem to be able to do a whole lot, which is super underwhelming to me. Um, and then power line is... I also see the potential and the damage that he can deal. And like the charge and shock stuff kind of reminds me of Dash. He's got that charge stuff too and only gets stronger as you get more charge. Uh, maybe should have had like Snow White assist, but that's fine. Like see, he's all the way up at 10. So it'd be cool, maybe I can get Hero to make him go. Let's see, all the way... But yeah, we only have my basic attack, but let's just see. So it definitely did more than it usually did, but yeah, like I said, it's hard to tell. And then Scrooge, I don't know, I don't think I've ever found Scrooge to be all that great. But, I know I fought some tough Scrooges as well. But, he seems just like, also somewhat underwhelming compared to a lot of characters. But anyways, that's the showcase. Um, I know I'm not, they aren't too special. People don't really care too much about them, but it'll give me a sense of being complete because I only, I only have a few more to go here and then we're only getting a very few amount of characters at a time. So I feel like I might as well just finish these out. So we got Powerline, next will be him. I'd love to showcase the Sully one, so maybe we'll just skip to that one next. Um, I'm honestly not sure who the other character was that I unlocked after. Oh, it might be, might be, whatever her name is. Okay, goodbye.